here from Gunpowder Magazine. Our Second Amendment Spotlight Series brings us to Colorado's beautiful Western Slope. Today we're in downtown Rifle, home of the Shooter's Grill, where carrying a gun isn't just permitted, it's pretty much part of the uniform. Let's check it out. Every waitress at Shooter's Grill carries a gun. The unique practice has been good for business, but it didn't start as a gimmick to draw in tourists. Tell me how this all got started, Lauren, because you didn't start out um, with the idea of planning to have a restaurant where all the waitresses carried, right? Right. We did not intend on having an open carry themed restaurant. Uh, we opened Shooter's Grill as a spinoff of Rifle Colorado. Um, this is a very western gun friendly area of Colorado and we just wanted to really inhabit um, our heritage here and then just show forth our values. Um, it wasn't until about a month after we opened there was an altercation in the alley behind us and a man was actually beat to death and that was the first time that I actually feared for my safety and the safety of others. I was here alone a lot. I was here in the morning before anyone else arrived, um, after hours, and I started to question what would I do in a scenario that someone else tried to physically harm me or someone else even. And I don't have a physical way to protect myself. I'm five foot zero and I just don't have the strength to feed off an attacker. So um, I actually sought out advice um, from a local business owner and he told me about open carry laws in Colorado and I immediately began to open carry. The business owner Lauren consulted about carrying a firearm was Edward Wilkes, whose gun shop is located conveniently right next door. So it's been five years now that I came into your store and asked you, how can I protect myself and my staff and my patrons? And then that's when you explained to me Colorado's open carry laws. And then I purchased the, the judge, the tourist right. judge, and began to open carry. And you continued to educate me on how important it is to defend yourself, the right that we have to keep and bear arms. Most of that had to do with the simple Colorado laws that we have, that whether you are open, you can open carry um, just about everywhere. I know there are some jurisdictions that prohibit it, but one of the main things is if you're the private property owner, you can conceal carry in your own home, your own place of business, private property under your control, your own vehicle, private means of conveyance. So there were some openings that you had there even if you wanted to carry concealed. I, think I, I came into the restaurant open carrying. Eventually I had waitresses come and ask me if they could open carry as well. And I permitted that. I didn't grow up shooting guns. Uh, I actually was pretty afraid of them. And then I started working here because I was a good friend of Lauren's and I saw her packing and I saw that was a beautiful thing. Um, she's got four kids and she's a little person and she can defend herself and um, I wanted to know all I could about them. I got a gun and I started shooting. Um, we started shooting together regularly and we became a family. Well, I know whenever I wear my gun, um, I know that I'm safe, I know that I'm protected. I know that I could go anywhere and if something were to happen that I I am prepared. I know what I'm doing and I know how to use my gun and it's awesome. It's a great feeling. And now most of the staff carries and they're all fully trained and they are? Yes, absolutely. We do have training in place. Um, we offer concealed carry classes to our staff and our patrons. All of our staff has to go through the concealed carry course. So I know that they have a solid um, knowledge of of firearms, so we um, we encourage um, our girls to go out and target shoot with us. Um, we have tactical training. Um, we have firearm retention training. Oh, wow. Yes. So I'm guessing you haven't had any sort of altercations or any attempted robberies or anything like that since the girls started packing heat. No, we have had no altercations like that. Nothing physical, and no one has certainly tried to rob us, unless you count our salt shakers. Those get taken often. Rifle is a small town, but the effect Shooter's Grill has had on the community and the rest of the country has been remarkable. One thing that you and your restaurant did was that it spread this word on, on, a, on a broader scope and got people to think about it, got people talking about it, and began discussing the fact, yeah, that's why a crime rate would be lower if everybody can go around and carry open carry. So one of the things that we've seen from your restaurant is that it's spilled out in a very positive way to other establishments. We've seen banks, city market, local establishments be open to the fact of open carry. Yeah. 
Far from attracting a rough crowd or deterring would-be patrons, the presence of guns has actually increased business at Shooter's Grill significantly. I, I definitely believe that us having this stance on the Second Amendment and open carry and defending the rights of the American citizen has brought people in that would have never come to Rifle Colorado before. They would have never visited our area and they certainly would have never come through our doors and sat down and had a burger. Um, but we've actually seen people come as far as Australia. Um, I had a family that intended on going to Las Vegas and they wanted to come in and see Shooter's Grill in Rifle, Colorado. So they flew into Denver and drove through Rifle so they can stop here and eat. The novelty of pistol packing waitresses may draw customers in, but it's the food that turns them into regulars. I would definitely say that our stance on the Second Amendment is very important to get people through our doors for the very first time, but what keeps people coming back is our food. Um, we have always strived from the beginning to serve the highest quality food, and I, I really am proud of that. Um, even in our off-tourist times, um, even in, in our off-season, our locals are what keeps our business going. They are what drives us. So we like to come up here a couple times week. Yeah, we come here about once a week. Yeah. For the 3G. Good food, guns, and girls. Looking at the menu, you can't decide between the Guac 9, the Swiss and Wesson, there's also the Ruger Rubin, all very fun names. <laughs> yes, well, I'm a Glock girl, so I would go with the Guac 9, but maybe you'll have to come back and try all three, yeah. depending on <laughs> what kind of gun you're packing that day. Yes, <laughs> yes, your burger can match your firearm. There you go. <laughs>